Hello everyone, Anubhuti here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, nice for you to join here. I like to share my uh, reviews about the products, beauty products which I use, be it makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care, etc. Also for a couple of years, I have been trying to get use out of my makeup collection as much as possible because my makeup collection grew significantly since I moved to Netherlands. Thanks to the access to multiple brands and amazing deals. Uh, so then I have been trying low buy and also getting use out of my makeup collection more and more efficiently. If that is something you're interested in, please uh, make sure to subscribe. I would love to have you in the family. And let's jump into the video. As you see from the title, I am starting a new project ban. It is no pen left behind. I have seen banning YouTubers, banning creative, which I follow Chick Geek. It's just Def, Sophie from Sophie Alexandra, Ahad. I've seen them doing this project and also a lot of content creator that I follow on Instagram do this project. I have never done this project before because I don't track individual usage on my eyeshadows in a palette because I find it just too tedious. And most of the time I'm in a hurry and I would just pick up a palette and then use it but then what happens is I am most of the time using the same palettes over and over again and I won't change that. That is why I decided to give it a try because I've seen all these creators do these projects and then uh, how efficiently they get use out of their makeup collection, their eyeshadow palettes and make sure all of those palettes are loved and that's what something I also want for my makeup collection. So then I have decided that I'm going to give it a try till end of this year. So basically till December 2023. Then I'm going to revisit and see how comfortable I am to keep continuing it or if I feel burned out by that time because of the old tracking usage and everything. So, but I just want to give it a try and I, I, I just am too tempted to give this one a try. So I filmed the videos on my phone. It's not possible to show the tiny decisions up here, but I have done green recordings of my choices and I'm going to put them somewhere here on the side of the screen to show you uh, what I chose. So basically I've, I've decided that I will pick up five palettes and I will work on them no pen left behind style. So the goal will be to use every shadow at least once before I can roll them out of the project. So let's start and then see what palettes I chose. I will put the tiny decision app screen recording here. So the first palette I rolled is Sigma Beauty Ambience eyeshadow palette and I have it with me here. Uh, this is the Sigma Beauty Ambience palette. I got this this year and actually in a pretty good deal. This is my palette is currently looking like. Uh, as you can see, I did use some shadows, but then I used those shadows again and again because those are the easiest one to reach. So I have already used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, this is a 14. There are 14 pens in this eyeshadow palette. And then I have used nine of them so far and have used this palette in a couple of times. I really like the formula here. I'm I'm really intrigued by the color story. This is perfect palette for the summer. So I'm glad this is rolled in. But then I am going to count my usage from now. So then the goal is to use each shadow at least once. Okay, so the second palette that rolled in is Makeup Revolution uh, Foil Frenzy hybrid palette so this is like a all shimmer palette i had these foil frenzy palettes were in two versions there was a fusion which was like neutral shimmers and then hybrid which are like uh, all metallics but colorful metallics i like makeup revolution shimmer formula uh, they are like quite emollient metallic shimmers but then and also i got one plus one on this these palettes so these are the shades that are part of this palette i love grungy shimmers so far i have not used this palette at all because i have a lot of shimmers i was focusing on my makeup revolution hot smoked palette and um I did hit ban on all of those shimmers. So then, um, yeah, that's why this was kind of neglected. So I'm happy this rolls in. This gives me chance to use uh, shimmers from this palette. Pretty happy this has 15 bands in it. So yeah, <laughs> I'm rolling quite big palettes. But then, uh, yep, yeah, th this is it. I think I can get use out of these shades easily because these are like all shimmer 
and I can copy it one or two shimmers combined. For example, I can combine all the bronzy shimmers in one look and a lot of them I can use it as an inner corner. And also I like to use these shimmers as a colorful eyeliner and I think summer is perfect time for that. So that's, that's gonna be an interesting one. I'm super happy that rolled in. The third eyeshadow palette that got rolled in is Jaclyn Hill Morphe Original Palette and this has 35 bands in it. This is like a giant palette. I have used this a couple of times. I use eyeshadow palettes very light-handedly. I'm not sure why, but I use the shadows very light-handedly. It's very difficult for me to show any kind of disturbance and pan. Um, and I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to use different brushes probably. But then it's like the goal is not to, even if I'm not able to hit pan on any of the shoulds, the eyes to just get use out of those shades more so yeah 35 eyeshadows this is probably is going to be the toughest one but i'm sure i can get use out of it the only shades which i'm afraid of are extremely warm tone shades like these here and also uh, colorful mattes like green and and deep green because those are something not which i reach for in a colorful shade so that's going to be a challenge. And next one in was Natasha Denona mini love palette. Sigh of relief to roll in a like smaller palette. It's it's kind of breaking. It's brand new. My one of my shades is kind of flaking. I think I can push it back. Okay, so this is a five pen palette. This is how it looks like. I have used it a couple of times and also mostly I reached into uh, this shade and that's the only shade I've reached into and this is quite like the flaky shimmer. This is really, really beautiful shade. Let me swatch it for you. It's like the very beautiful shade. I reach for it a lot. But then other than that, most of the shades are practically unused. I have used only two shades out of this so far. So I'm interested that this rolled in and... Uh, Hope to see um, this rolls out in the second update. I think I can do it. Uh, this is a smaller palette and I think this can give me a kickstart and also motivate me. So yeah, probably I will try to roll this one out in the next update. But I'm super happy. Interesting <laughs> palette choice here. But then, yes, of course, otherwise I'm not going to reach for things. So the last palette which rolled in is West Side Trio Gold Mine Studio West crystal eyeshadow in the shade Maya. This is an Indian brand which I purchased from a long time ago. This is um, owned by Tata Enterprise. So this is, they launched their makeup collection a long ago and I picked up this squad because this is like the perfect wedding in shade for Indian skin. So these are like the grungy gold, grungy bronze and grungy cranberry kind of shade. These are really, really nice and emollient. This is what I have on my eyes actually. Today I have the gold shade all over the lid and then I have the cranberry shade in the lower lash line and also the cocoa the bronze shade as an eyeliner so yeah this is I'm, I'm happy this is uh, rolling in this is also on my chopping block because I'm just contemplating this is too old at this point and the shadows are not performing as much as they used to so I'm glad that this rolled in probably I can get a little bit more use out of it before I decide to declutter it I did use it a lot so then I have got my money sort out of it but yeah, super happy that this is rolled into product. Probably can have the, have a last hurrah before I can decide to declutter it. So those were all the five palettes that rolled in as part of my No Pan Left Behind. Share in the comment section below which palettes you are working on currently. Do you have any advice for me to... <laughs> to incorporate the shade and also um, to hit pants if during this journey any any advice you have please leave it in the comment section below i'm quite new to this um not quite new i've been doing it for since 2020 but then i have been actively trying to use up my collection since like the past couple of years so then um this is like my very first uh, official project pan and i'm super excited about it also, I'm scared about it because I've never tried usage and I'm, I, I think I might miss the chance, but then I'm super excited and also super pumped, super motivated <laughs> to give it a try wholeheartedly um, and still I'm going to give it a try for the next five months and then see where it's end. And if I can't do it, then I can't do it. But 
uh, I'm going to give it my 100%. So that's it. And at this point, I'm just blabbering. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I hope you like this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And for more videos, please uh, check out my playlist. And also make sure if you want to check out my blog, everything will be linked down in the description box below. That's it for today. Have a really, really nice day, nice night, wherever you are. Bye-bye.